Nowadays, it is the custom in many synagogues to sing the last lines of Alvinu Malkenu out loud. There is a special melody for this line and everybody knows it, or at least they seem to. It has become one of the most familiar songs of the High Holy Day season. But in Eastern Europe, the custom was to sing all the rest of the Alvinu Malkenu out loud and that last line was sung silently. The Dubner Magid was once asked why, and he explained as was his way with a parable. He said, once there was a village grocer. Once a year he would go to the big city to order supplies and merchandise for the coming year. When he entered the warehouse, he was dazzled by the amount and the variety of the merchandise that was on display there. And so he would say, give me some of this and give me some of that. He got carried away and he would go down the aisles and ordering everything in sight. And then when he would go to the cashier and they totaled his bill, he was embarrassed and he would say in a whisper, I'm so sorry, but I don't have enough money to pay for all these things that I've ordered. Would you please give them to me on credit? And if I have a good year, I'll be able to pay for all of them. And so it is with us, said the Dubner. When we think of all the things we would like to have in the new year, we are overwhelmed with desire. And so we call out Avinu, Malkenu. Give us help. Avinu Malkenu, give us wealth. Avinu Malkenu, be our help. But when we come to the last sentence and we realize how little merit we have, we say in a whisper, Avinu Malkenu, have pity on us and give us all we ask for on credit, even though we have no good deeds with which to pay for them. Give us another year of life and we will try to be better and to justify your faith in us and to pay you back for all you give us. It is then in that spirit that we rise for our Vita Malkenu. Oh. Uh -huh. 